They come while you sleep, and what they leave behind can be unmistakable. Raccoons, they're invading neighborhoods all over the Bay Area right now. Don Ford tells us why it's so much worse than a normal year. They come out at night into your neighborhood, sneaking around for food, and with the drought getting worse, here in Marin, they are looking for water, too. Mill Valley, and especially here on Cascade Drive, is considered to be Raccoon Central, and it's easy to see why. Plenty of habitat to hide during the day, water still trickling in the stream, and a lot of humans to mooch off of. Dig all over the yard, dump garbage cans all over the place. Plum trees are a favorite. You can't get rid of your tree. No, but they eat all the fruit, and then once the fruit is gone, they go away. Wild care in San Rafael is getting dozens of calls about raccoons. This one is somehow injured, and x-rays seem normal, but he still can't walk well. When he gets better, the law says he must be returned near where he was captured, not relocated. Over 80% of relocated animals, of all species, but raccoons in particular, die within the first two or three months of their relocation. Wild Care says that's because they are stressed, not knowing where the food is, and they're often in another animal's territory. Seems there's an unlimited number of raccoons. There are. I mean, there really are. For all intents and purposes, there are. There is no way for you to make a dent in the raccoon population by trapping and relocating or trapping and killing. Sometimes, even if you keep the pet food inside, they still find their way into your house, like this one, who came in through the dog door. He simply helps himself to the cat food. In San Rafael, Don Ford, KPIX5. So the experts uh, at Wildcare say you can use ammonia or white vinegar as a raccoon deterrent. Try it.